Hey guys, we're going to be checking out the app Unclouded today. It's from the developer Christian Golner. I'm really sorry if I pronounce that wrongly, but what this app allows you to do is easily manage, analyze, and clean your cloud storage, namely Dropbox and Google Drive. What really makes this app stand out from the rest is its fantastic design and ease of use. Straight from the get-go, you'll notice this app has been designed beautifully. It has a clean, easy-to-understand interface. Even the introduction screen has smooth material design-esque animations, and it just looks great. So once you've been through the initial setup, you'll be prompted to add your cloud storage service. You'll need to give unclouded authorization, otherwise it won't be able to access or see any of your files. As of right now, the app supports Google Drive and Dropbox. To add an account, tap the drop down arrow next to your name and tap add new account. And this time we're gonna go ahead and select Google Drive because we added Dropbox before, but it's basically the same procedure. So once you're all logged in, you'll be greeted with the overview screen as you can see here. And this shows you how much space you have available for that account. And again, notice the subtle animations that just make the look and feel of this app very fluid and professional. For the Google Drive account, it breaks the usage down into Google Drive, Google Plus Photos, and Gmail. And at the bottom, we have a visual representation of used and free space. If we head over to the Dropbox account, our usage isn't split here. So we just see the overall space used and amount free. Pulling out the side drawer, the first option we have is Explorer, which is basically just like any other Explorer, it lists the files on your account. I pretty much have no organization of my cloud storage, it's a bit of a mess. There's options to change the listing order in the top bar, so you can list by size or by what's new. And you also have the option to view as a grid, which is probably more suited to photos rather than just random files. Now the category section is where it gets really cool. As I mentioned, my storage isn't really organized, but it doesn't matter as it's gonna do it all for you. All your videos will be grouped together and so on. You can easily find videos, applications, images, and all that stuff without having to go through each individual folder. You can also see how much each section is taking up. Videos is taking up 98% of my used space. In terms of what you can actually do with the files, you can tap to download or stream if it's a video. Everything else, like sending a file, moving, deleting, and renaming, requires the premium version of the app, which is an in-app purchase. The category section also works for Dropbox. You can see I've got a few more categories over here like hacking. I think that actually has a custom recovery in there. You also have the option to organize your files by last modified. You can see mine goes all the way down to two years ago. So that's quite a long time. And we also have duplicates. Now this is a really interesting feature. So it's gonna go ahead and scan your folders and see if you have any duplicate files. And in my case on Dropbox, I do. You can see I have the same picture on both uh, in both cases. They are in different folders, so it is a duplicate file. So now it's your choice if you wanna go ahead and delete it and maybe save some space. If you're wondering why my Google Drive use space is 3.7 gig, even though my videos equal 98% of my space at 800 meg, it's because I had a lot of files in the bin, which I then went to clear. One thing worth noting is the Google Drive storage does not include the Google Plus photos. Google does not allow third-party apps to access that data. There's pretty much nothing any developers can do about that. That's on Google. Overall, this application is just a breeze to use. I love all the animations that are in place. It's buttery smooth. I've seen absolutely no lag whatsoever. You can see some of the images here in the grid view. It just looks better than the uh, list view in this case. In terms of the settings, there isn't really a lot you can mess around with. You do have the option to tint the status bar, and this is one of my favorite options, actually. It seems like a minor thing, but it just makes the application look a little bit more complete in my opinion, and I'd love to see this option in more applications. So there you go guys, if you're someone that has a lot of files on their cloud storage and you want to organize those or maybe find something really quickly, this application is going to be absolutely excellent for you. And while there are applications on the Play Store that do something similar, there are none that do it quite this beautifully. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.